Okay, guys, welcome back to the Battle of Seminara. This is Victus, and we're going to continue with Pike and Shot campaigns here. So there, there's a lot of things to do here. I'm going to show you a little bit what is happening here. We're trying to hold the um, the charge of the infantry. This is the Swiss pikeman. We have one arquebusier here that is ready to shoot at the back of any of these guys. Perhaps it's going to be good to move it here. We have another arquebusier here with this white flag that is actually running away. It's routing. And here we have a little bit of a problem with the cavalry. There's a lot of cavalry uh, dispersed, so to speak. And these guys are pretty much charging against me. Here we have another Gendarmes that are running away. And there are plenty of troops. One of those is the Italian Gendarmes that is disrupted here. And we have one Lancers from the French disrupted and the Swiss pikemen over here already disrupted. Okay, so let's continue doing the same thing as I did before. We're going to separate the battle in two stages. The stage in two theaters. This is the... Um, the infantry theater and this is the cavalry theater so over here we are going to deal with this after the cavalry and this is going to be basically our left flank and then the cavalry on our right so first of all what i'm going to do is here i'm going to try to i can't charge against this guy so what i'm going to do is basically turn uh, facing this guy here so then when this guy charges then at least I'm going to be able to to receive the charge. We can see a little bit of a visual indication here that this unit is a little bit battered. Over here we have the Italian mounted crossbowmen. These guys, what I'm going to do is to move them here. Turn them here if possible, I can't. So I'm going to basically move these guys over here and then turn and try to shoot to these guys at the back sadly we cannot turn this guy here then i'm going to move let me see if, if it's possible to charge against these guys here i'm not sure that is going to do something but yeah, I could move this guy here, turn him here and shoot at these guys, and then do the same here, turn him here and shoot at these guys at the back. I think that was okay in this area here. This guy is already routing, so here we have these guys facing these guys over here, so I am going to charge. Good thing is that these guys run away, and but now I am in front of, in this open ground, in front of these crossbowmen that are going to shoot me, which is not good. So let me try to shoot at these guys here. Okay, now these guys are fragmented. And now... I'm pretty sure I'm, I can face these guys here. Or perhaps move these guys here. I'm going to move them here. So I have the possibility to shoot to someone here. Obviously, over here, what I'm going to do is still trying to shoot these guys. But I think it's not worth it. Let's try. 20 guys dead with that beautiful shot. These guys as well are our cabiziers. Okay, let me push these guys here. Then these guys, I'm going to move them over, over here. And with these guys, I'm going to shoot at these guys. Oh, 
right there. Still watching here, we see that these guys are very, are very battered. This one right here has 94 elite men. So I'm going to shoot at this guy. Let's move here. Turn and shoot. Then we can move this guy here and shoot at this guy. There we are. Now they have 88. So I think that's it for now. Let's send the turn. This is pretty fair. Five losses against five losses. Three and four is pretty equal. Definitely that guy decided to charge and that's a flank attack. At least the unit has not, is not uh, broken. Cavalry there is uh, charging against this guy. To charge at the back is considered a flank attack. Now, the French cavalry is concentrating over here. Good. But it's better if you have those guys on the front and if you shoot to them frontally. That's a pretty equal battle. We managed to kill one of those, even though they are attacking us at the back. Okay, that's good. That guy is now disrupted. I think that guy is off the grid. I oh, know, he's here. Hopefully we're going to regain control of this guy. Never mind, this guy is now again. He is um, routing. So we have Archebusiers and Spanish Rodlers here. We have more Archebusiers here. So one thing I can do is to turn this guy here, shoot at these guys. Then I'm going to go and move these guys here turn this guy and eventually i'm going to be facing this guy here so finally i'm going to move this one over here shoot at this guy then move i think it's going to be better move this one here perhaps i can shoot at this guy we go 
What else we have here? Gonna move here. This guy, we don't have control over this guy. Let's shoot at this guy again. Now this guy is disrupted. Pretty good. We have more Spanish Rodleros here waiting for this guy. Instead, what I'm going to do is shoot at this. Uh, this guy is engaging the crossbow, the, the crossbowman, cavalry crossbowman here. So let's shoot at this guy here. Perhaps I can, can do some damage here. I could charge in here. No, I can't. So let me just, just move this guy here. So you can move here and perhaps shoot at this guy. No, I can't. This guy is routing. Now over here, all right, it's going to be better if we if we move if we move here, I think. And with these guys, I'm gonna try to move here and charge. It's not a good idea, even though I have charged them on the flank. I have learned that guys like these are not able to to defeat these guys because these are pretty pretty powerful okay now here i could charge against this and charge against this here and it's not doing anything however we have these guys here so now Let's see what happens then. Okay. Let's uh, end the turn. Hmm, interesting how they they are starting to envelope me in this area in my, in my left flank. So my my gendarme is just, um, just broke. These guys are going to break as well. We are losing the the right flank. Good, we managed to disrupt that guy's Hmm. That is a huge amount of uh, damage that they are doing. Hmm, a flank attack here. Fragmented. There's a huge problem here. It is happening. We are losing the right flank the charge unit has broken and the chargers will pursue the pursuit is made last several turns we'll already know this there we go okay now the receiver phase for shooting
Oh, that's good. We disrupted those Swiss. But in this side, we just get we just got the fragmentation because we're receiving we're receiving damage from both sides. The Union had just rallied to fragmented, its morale and cohesion are still severely impaired, but at least it is no longer running away. We lost that. That's another route for us. Now, eventually, we are severely, severely overwhelmed in our right flank. So now, I'm pretty sure we're we're about to lose. If you if we see here, we see that 33% of our troops uh, are basically routed. So. We are not in a good position here. Perhaps we can throw this guy here. This guy is routing, this guy is routing, this guy is routing. We're losing that side. So let's move this guy here. At least we could uh, change positions here and try to throw a little bit of javelins whilst these guys are running away. We have lost all of these units, the cavalry, the right flank has been lost. So now let's figure out what we're going to do here. We have these Gendarmes still running away here. So basically what I can do here is try to move here. Shoot at these guys. There's no damage here and now let's concentrate here because that's the most important area. We lost a unit here of our Kebisiris and this still fragmented. Now this guy is engaged by this one. I can still shoot at... Let's see, this one has 80 guys and this guy has 90. But I cannot engage these guys because these guys are engaged already here. This guy is, is now being attacked in on the flank and this guy in front. So I'm trying to get the Archebusiers here. This this guy is disrupted. I could make more damage here. Let's let's see. Auto breaks. Okay, that's good. Now we have we have made something interesting here. Okay, so perhaps we can still shoot or charge against this one, which I don't think is going to be a good idea. I could perhaps move this guy here and shoot at these guys. Could be good. Move these guys here. Shoot at these guys. I would prefer to shoot at these guys in front rather than there. But it's the only way I can do it. Okay, so that's it. There's nothing else I can do, and I think we're we're about to to lose. We did we did whatever was in our hands, but they are just overwhelming our our flanks. It's it's um it's a lot of them. They have engaged with the Swiss pikemen, and they have a lot of crossbowmen that are very flexible because they can move and they can shoot. Yeah. Still, most of our units are going to be fragmented right now.
that you need bricks, but there's nowhere to go, and now it's dispersed, it says there. It's doing that rear attack, and it's, it's finished. Another impact here. Still charging from from that distance. The unit breaks. I think we have lost. I don't think it's possible to win this. As I mentioned before, this battle was not created for us to win. There's pretty much very low possibilities to win this. Those guys were dispersed again. Oh, at least that um, Swiss pikemen are, are now... Um, Breaking. I think this is the end. The Archibuziers are evading the, the pikes eventually. Okay. Ah, interesting. They fall back even though they attacked at the back at the road to the Rodleros. The Rodleros made a good uh, work route. Um, making them falling back. So it's a defeat. My lord, we cannot conceal that this was a defeat. That's the situation. So what, what just happened is that the enemy had a strength of 4,000, almost 5,000, and we had 3,600. So original strength, we already know that they have more troops, so this is basically something that, just by numbers, we see that these guys had the upper hand. The, the other thing is that, for example, there are no gun, guns that were lost, but we have wounded 243 guys, 45 horses, and we wounded a total of 288 Frenchmen. From our side, we're wounded 500 and almost 530 guys. So, as far as this goes, the Frenchmen wounded double of what we we would we could have wound from from their side. Killed, we killed a total of 140, and they killed a total of of 400. So it's definitely something that is drastic in terms of total casualties. So we have basically 400 casualties of these 3,000. The rest of the guys were just routing. 
these guys didn't lost too much. So yeah, this was the Battle of Seminara. A battle that is very, very difficult to beat here in Pike and Short campaigns. If someone has an idea on perhaps how could this be won, I'm open to hear the idea. You can comment and perhaps share what you think, what is possible to do in this in this battle in terms of the game mechanics but the more i try to figure out if there's a possibility i think there is not as i mentioned before and it's already known historically and it's already known for the game the battle is not made for us to win it enjoy your time this was victus See you in the next one.